Okay, so I'm taking a bull in to get his hoof checked. He's limping. I'll explain as we go. We'll see how lucky I am here. Instead of running them all the way around, I'm going to try to run him right through here. So it's number 20. He's the guy right in the back here. I'm going to see if we can coax him in without running them around and without getting chased here. Come on, buddy. Get away. Hey, girls, boys, I mean. Hey boys. Hey. Come on, get in there. See the opening. Come on. Hey. Come on, you can see it. There you go. He doesn't show that he's limping too bad right now. I wanted him to go in here. But you can kind of see him favoring the left front. And what happened is, this past summer, he limped in the fall, or midsummer into the fall. I treated him, and then he kind of come out of it. And now he's limping again. So I don't know going to be a good breeder or not so I'm gonna have the vet look at them and evaluate them and we'll go from there come on beans he is a little bit sore he could be mean or could get mean when they don't feel good come on there we go I got my I got my trailer set up here so I can at least close that back gate. Just because he's in the pen here doesn't mean he's gonna load. And it's probably not a smart idea that I'm holding the camera with one hand trying to load a bull. I'm gonna try it just for you guys. <laughs> Gates open, buddy. Here you go. So far, so good. Sure is brisk out today again. It says it's four above, but it's cold. At least there's no wind. Makes it a lot better. There you go. I just gotta slam this shut. Easy moves. There we go. Well, the next stop is the veterinarian. See what he can tell us. Yeah, looks like his left front there is worse. Is that where the abscess was? No, I don't know that it was an abscess. It's hard to say. I'm going to trim him up here first so I can get a better idea of what I'm looking at. I'm going to need a sharp knife from the... So this is old. Healed up more or less. Pretty much. As best it's gonna be. 
but it would explain why he's been on and off again. Right. So why is it dark? Is that from the absence? That's the new sole that grew down. Oh, okay. What I'm removing is the old stuff. You think you'll come out of that limp? Well, I would think so, but we're not done looking at them yet either. Right. Imagine this one's going to be the same way, possibly. He's got a big corn too. What's that mean? That's this tissue sticking down in between. See how this is oh, rough? Yeah. And yeah. This is probably explaining some of his soreness. Well, it pinches his toes, and then if you really press on that, it's going to be sore. So there's different schools of thought on what to do with these. I was taught that you just trim the animal, get their foot back in balance because he was long, and they usually go away. There's a procedure out there that details we cut that all out. Yeah, that didn't look good. Checking for soreness, I imagine. Yeah. Doesn't seem to bother him, huh? No, that's what we call negative. He's not reacting. So I would see how he does, does over the next month or two and then recheck him, uh, recheck his feet, see what this corn's doing in about two months. That way you've got plenty of time to find another one if it's not healing up. That'd be my thought. Come up and come up and settle up here. Be careful there. It's a busy place. Well, I made it back home with the bull. Hey, buddy. And uh, kind of a funny thing when we got to the vet walking in the vet clinic. He wasn't even limping. So I'll let him out here and let him back with his, his buddies. Ooh, it's a big jump. Sorry, buddy. But we'll see if he limps here, just letting him off the trailer. See what he looks like. Can you walk for me? I want to see. Well, he doesn't appear to be limping. Boy, it's hard to tell, isn't it? Come on, buddy. I don't know. He doesn't appear to be limping. <laughs> but I do notice him limping once in a while. So like the vet said, you know, his frog, which is, I think that's what he called it, between his, if these were his toes, between his toes is a little swollen, a little bigger than it should be on the right, his right front hoof, and the left front, he had an abscess at one time, as you can tell in, on the vet, you know, when I had, I don't know how the video is going to look, I haven't looked at it yet, but, you know, he cleaned that up, and... We're just gonna wait for a couple months and see how he turns out. I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna buy a bull to replace him, just in case, uh, so I have a spare. I might even buy an extra one because I always like to have one spare and I don't know if he is gonna be considered a spare or not if he's limping. <clears throat> because, you know, you gotta breed cows to make a living, so you gotta have calves.
but I take a lot of stock in what Travis says, the vet. He's probably one of the best vets I know. And everything he does for us, he's spot on. There's never not been a time where he's been 100% accurate. So he's, he's a good vet. So with that, we'll leave him go and see what happens. I can let you know down, down the road, you know, a couple months, see how he turns out. But all right, folks, thanks for watching. Have a good one.